Well, Max is a very intelligent swimmer. He's he accepts instruction very well, and he comprehends instruction very well. When you um, give Max some ideas on how to improve technique-wise, he understands it very well, and he has a great feel for his body and how the how his body works in the water. So that's that's a great uh, attribute of his, along with his terrific work ethic. He he is a hardcore worker. He, he when it comes to training. Um, and understanding what he needs to do during practice to meet his goals. He's exceptional at, you know, being able to apply himself. And natural talent-wise, he's probably an eight. And if you combine that with his work ethic, um, he's higher than that. Um, I am very confident that he could be an Olympic trial level swimmer by the time he gets out of high school, which, you know, when we're talking like 2012 for the trials for London, um, I feel like he's probably going to be there. Um, well, today has uh, has gone really well. He's only had one race, but he's inched very close to uh, a, a junior national cuts in a 200 breaststroke, and that's kind of our goal at this meet is to get to that next level. Um, prior to this weekend, he's um, in the world of YMCA swimming. He's qualified for YMCA national championships in uh, nearly every event that they have. So it's he's he's. A terrific all-round swimmer. By the time he gets to be, uh, you know, beyond 2012, he's probably he's going to be in college by then. So um, we may have turned him over to somebody else that, that may see this video, you know, by then. Um, but I, I I expect he'll be very competitive at the Olympic trial level the next time the Olympics come around. And I, you know, if he can hang on for another four years after that, you know, who knows. Our program um, is probably going to leave him with a lot of room to grow. We, you know, we we do really well with what we have. Um, we don't have everything available to a kid that they could possibly get at a at a major university. Um, and if I was a college coach, I would probably see Max as good as he is right now and as much potential as we see in him. If he's given the opportunity with terrific facilities and. Um, you know, more individualized, more individualized coaching that could be available from a smaller setting. We have 170 some kids on our team, aging ages six up to 18. So we're working our butts off just to, as coaches, to keep the practices running and teaching as much as we can. But if he's um, put in an environment where he has uh, the kind of stuff like a major university might offer, like Mizzou has here, I mean, he's gonna. I don't know how high he could go. I'm sure he would just take off. Well, this is my seventh summer swimming. So uh, we joined our uh, local country club and my brother joined the swim team. I joined junior golf. And uh, I went to a couple of my brother's swim meets. And I was watching and I kind of liked it. So I just wanted to try to try it out. So. Uh, joined the team about halfway through that season and uh, slowly progressed so I got into that then went into my winter team and about halfway through that season I started catching up with the faster swimmers started getting good and from there I just carried on even more so ever since then I've just been swimming basically. I like the competing aspect of it I like showing up and racing showing how much work you put in and and what you deserve after all that tough practices, mornings, dry land, everything, just working really hard through it all. And then you show up to the meet and it pays off for you. That's, that's what I like the most. Oh, those practices where you show up and you're just like, God, this is, this is not gonna be fun. Just think, like you just feel bad all over and then you get in the pool and you're swimming and you're, you're trying to loosen up but you just can't and you get to the main set and it just, it's not clicking so those are probably the toughest, I, I dislike those, I just, I hate feeling bad in the water, it's the worst thing. I'd have to say my LSC's record, 13-14 boys, 200 breaststroke, I did that uh, January 18th I believe, 2009, so earlier this year. I had been about a second off at a meet we had a, earlier that year, and then uh, went to another meet and we rested for it, and I got to put on a laser for the first time. Once I did that, 
Uh, I felt really good that day, so I knew I had a chance. And when I touched the wall and saw that 209, I just that was great. That had to be the best feeling in swimming forever for me. Um, well, I'd like to obviously swim in college. Uh, that's probably, I mean, Olympic trials is, you know, that's the big one. And if I could just keep going until I feel like it's my time to stop, just drop it and start doing something else. But basically as long as I can, as long as I like doing it and I love doing it and I enjoy it, I'm going to just keep going until I'm done with that. Yeah, it's a huge deal. It, w it would mean a lot just because uh, I know it's it's something big. Just I don't even know how to put. It. I mean, I know a lot of kids. It's it's tough for them to do, and it, it'd be nice. It'd be great.